Hey girl, checking in with your food log review for the week. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So, a couple of things. Um, last Monday, he did some oatmeal and an orange for breakfast. And if I remember correctly, um, both of those combined were pretty high carb content for a meal. Um, so I would cut that back. Um, not necessarily the oatmeal, but cut back the orange to maybe a half. Um, I'm pulling it up here just to make sure. Um, going back, sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that caused, both of those together caused your um, carbs to be at 52 for the meal. And protein 15, which is, isn't horrible for protein, but um, if you're going to supplement the oatmeal with something else, um, I what you could have done is instead of doing the orange, you could have put a tablespoon or two tablespoons of, um, probably one tablespoon would be sufficient, of chia seed in that um, oatmeal container. That would have given you some good healthy fats to go in um, instead of just three grams, so that way you're going to be fuller a little bit longer. Um, I know that when you start back to school, that's going to be key um, when you're doing your breakfast. And that chia seed also would have given you a little bit of fiber and some, pro some protein as well. So um, keep that in mind. Um, I saw you logged some spaghetti also that day. One cup cooked is 43 grams of carbs, which is pretty high. So I would like for you to try um, zoodles. They are spiralized zucchini noodles, or they also have spiral, spiralized butternut squash and spiralized carrots in the frozen section at Walmart. That's how I um, get a lower carb option with my spaghetti. Cause that girl, I love my spaghetti, um, but it just throws my carbs all out of whack. It also inflames my gut, and I always feel like I eat more pouchy. I know that sounds weird um, when I have pasta. So I always swap that out with, you know, using a vegetable. Um, so I'm seeing in your snacks, you're doing carrots and hummus. That's looking really, really good. Um, last Saturday, you needed a little bit more protein at breakfast. So you could have thrown in some egg whites um, or done, you know, maybe a half of a protein bar. But make sure you're getting that protein in at breakfast. Um, I saw that you logged a grilled chicken salad that had 70 grams of carbs. So I was curious as to what what that was, just because a, a salad normally, I mean, unless possibly it could have been um, uh, croutons or something like that. But I wanted to see what was on that because that seemed relatively high. Um, and then also you logged four ounces of chicken wings one day. Um and girl, I know I love my chicken wings, but doing a whole four ounces, you had 21 grams of protein and 18 grams of fat. And the 18 grams of fat, that's close to a half of your daily allotment of fat. So that's a lot of fat in just one meal. So I would cut that back, maybe do two ounces, um, or even do, you know, if you, if at Buffalo Wild Wings, do naked tenders instead. And still, you could have uh, naked grilled tenders, and you could dip it in, you know, some buffalo sauce or, or some mustard or something like that that doesn't have, you know, any um, nutritional value or carbs or any macros, actually, or calories. So that would be a better option to keep that fat lower. Um, hope you are having a great re weekend. Enjoyed catching up this past week. And enjoy your time back at work next week.